Hey everyone, Libby here. I'm finally going to do my motorhome tour and um, show you guys around. Sorry, the sun's in my eyes. <laughs> it's um, mid-afternoon on a winter's day here in Australia. Anyway, I will show you quickly around the outside and then I'll take you inside and show you how I've got everything set up. So this is our little motorhome. It's called Baymax. Anyway, I will... Um, you inside so the motorhome is quite old if I can remember I will include this the details of the motorhome and how old it is and stuff so you can see but this is obviously the console I don't know what the lights like here so I've got this very strong shadow behind me um, Kevin over there has put a thing for his phone for navigation purposes and plugs to charge things up. You put these here for um, they keep the drinks stable, but we don't really use them. Up. He'll probably take them out, I think, because there are two cup holders there. They also don't take really big, wide bottom cups, though, so they have to go in the doors. Actually, I just see he's got still got a drink over there with water in it. Um, and then, yeah, so if I've got a big drink bottle like that, we usually just stick them down the side of the doors because they don't fit, you can't put it there because it's not tall enough. <laughs> so only certain drinks can go there anyway, so not the best idea, not the most useful. So that's just the inside, hopefully you can see okay in the light. And then obviously in our motorhome we can walk through to the back, which now you can tell I actually haven't tidied inside yet. I'm going to do that and then I'm going to film the rest of it for you. Okay, what else have we got outside? Obviously the step folds away when we're travelling, we've got gas. I think all well, these are locked. Oh no, they're not. Yeah, they're locked. I don't know. Kevin uses the storage things. If you want to see more of Kevin's, what Kevin's done, let me know and I'll get him to film a video. There's a bike rack at the back here, I think. We haven't used that yet. Um, so yeah, I'll take you inside now and I will show you how we have got everything set up. Okay, so now inside, that is the front door there. We have the little ladder which you move in to that position to get up to the top bed. That's where Christy sleeps and we also store the extra quilts and pillows up there. It's a bit of a minute it's a bit of a mess at the moment because we did have a little water leak. We had the water last weekend, but not too bad luckily enough. And there is a little privacy curtain that can get closed across, which Christy does. There's also a net you can put up, but obviously Christy being older, we don't worry about her falling out of bed. But there is that if you want to, and obviously you can jump through the front seats. So, turning around, I've got a little kitchen area here. This folds down to become another bed. When Athena comes away, that will be Athena's bed. Underneath is storage. I'm not sure what's underneath that one. Kevin must have stuff there. And this one has some extra food supplies. And actually those the bottom so you can see they fold up so actually the bed comes out if you want it to out to here but that will obviously be more than enough bed for Athena for the, it's like a single king single bed I think anywhere at least a single bed so that should be okay but if you want to you can convert it into a queen size bed I just you wouldn't have much room to get by <laughs> so obviously we've got um, what we really love about this motorhome is all the windows that there are there's so many and they're all tinted so you can't really see into the van too well from outside which is nice um up the top it's pretty empty at the minute i'm still fiddling around with exactly how i've got it organized but i've got like all our um picnic kind of stuff up there so that if we're in a little esky bag i think's up there too let me go down and double check what is in there yeah so the little picnic set so if we're taking food out for the day um the beach or a picnic or whatever all our stuff's in there we have got some paper plates but they're for an absolute emergency meal <laughs> i don't really like to use paper plates at all and then we've got space for storing extra food stuff or um whatever else we want to store in here and then this one is a little um We've got like a little, it's not a first aid kit, but it's all medications and stuff. We have a first aid kit somewhere else, but that's all the kind of stuff you're likely to need. Hopefully you don't need the first aid kit, but you might want, you know, Panadol and lozenges and things like that. They're all in there, stop itch if you get mossy bites. So they're all in there. And then 
this basket. It's hard to get things down one-handed. Especially when the basket is heavy. So this has got, you know, tissues and wet ones and some citronella candles, umbrellas and air guard things. Obviously if we're using these things in a way they just sort of get left out, but otherwise they go up in the cupboard there. Kevin's put in a basket with a lot of charges. So at night we'll pop in um, phones and iPads and stuff into there. If you've got a laptop or something, it tends to have to go over here to get charged. So I've got another basket there, more chargers. I'm married to a techie in case you can't tell. All um, well, the keys are hanging in there and it's a spare bag. Sunscreen's in there because obviously most times when we're away we're going to need some sunscreen and we've got a sponge bob. <laughs> One of these to put keys on um, if we get given toilet keys or something and they don't, a lot of places have the lanyards now but in case we go somewhere that doesn't have a lanyard, help not to lose the keys, it makes it so much more easy. And then we have our motorhome checklist up there that Kevin made up. So it's actually two copies, so one side, oh no it's a packing list, okay. So that's the outside list that Kevin uses and then where's the other one? No. <laughs> and there's the inside one, so on different papers so I can grab that and um, I can do all the inside stuff and then I tend to, there's other information in the future, I don't know what that is. And then I tend to stick like, I'll take them all out now. That was our last trip. So any booking confirmation, things like that, I will stick in there while we're needing them. And then they can go away. But this is working not so well one-handed, but it's working really well just to have things nice and easy and ready to grab. So yeah, we're really working well with this space. Um, so obviously we try and keep the kitchen as clear as we can because as you can see for a motorhome it's not a bad space, kitchen space, it's actually rather good. This is supposed to be a wardrobe but to me that was a big waste <laughs> and we bought this um, little stand which was absolutely perfect size for this cupboard. I mean look at it, how perfect is that? It was obviously, it's like it was designed for this cupboard. <laughs> we got that at Howard Storage. So I tend to keep some breakfast items in here. As you can see, we do have things that get left in here between trips because it's not going to go off anytime soon. I just try and watch the dates, especially now in winter, we're not really using the van. So I've just I've sort of checked everything's not going to go off in the next few months. And then we sort of keep main meal things there. So we've got some tins, PVP, and things we can make up meals with. They're kind of like spare extra things. And then down the bottom, we tend to have snack food to get left. So again, nothing that's going to go off anytime soon. Then we've got our fridge, which as you can see, a very, very small fridge and an even smaller freezer. But so far it's been okay because we've just been doing weekend trips. So it's been quite fine. I did buy two of these trays to put things in just to help keep things a little bit more organized. I had them side by side, but Kevin... Um, I can't remember what he thought about that. I think he thought it was blocking off um, the circulation in the fridge. So we've just got them stacked there now. And obviously I can move them around. But they work really well in there. My little teeny tiny sink. <laughs> I think it's the world's smallest sink. And I really thought I was going to have problems with that sink. But it's actually okay. We do have, I'll show you soon, um, our drainage board. Which can double as a big sink if we need it. But we haven't needed it. So again, we've got some more baskets. These stay like this. Um, I tend to put our medications in here as well. A little medication boxes sit in there when we're going away for the weekend. And this little bin just lies in the sink. So I've got that to show you. But we've also Kevin's installed a water filter or filtered water tap, so that's really good. And I've got my little cooked up there. So everything works surprisingly really well nice window again these are freezer th go in the freezer Kevin just got them out for some reason at the minute so up over the cupboard here again we've tried to oh, tried to maximize our space 
Uh, Kevin, of course, had to have his coffee pod. I won't go through this cupboard, so let me know if you want more details and I can do a bit more of an organising, show you some more stuff. But basically, we've got plates down the bottom, bowls, and there's some small plates behind that. Up here, I've got like coffee cups and then some plasticky glasses. And then we've got some tea towels thrown there to help with padding. Over in the back, we've got some like um, microwave containers that double as bowls and storage containers. We tried to get everything multi purpose, and I think there's some coffee mugs in there as well, like travel coffee mugs. And yeah, so little bowls and stuff like that's all in there. But again, if you want to know more, let me know and I can. I can show you more. This one's got all the controls of things. I don't know too much about all that stuff. <laughs> and of course we've got a little microwave. That's actually the one that came out of our kitchen. And it fits in there perfectly. The one that was there was just a bit old and a bit on the yucky side and we weren't using our second microwave inside now that the kids were older. So we just used it in here. It worked out really well. Okay, so in under the sink again i haven't got much space under the sink but i've got a little file i think it's a file box or something like that it's called and i've just been able to put in a um, big tray and a little chopping board and that's the drainer i was talking about so there's actually a plug for that and actually it's one of those collapsible ones so you can collapse it all the way out and then you've got a good size um sink as well so that's really good and that little file thing just works really really well keeping everything together and I've just got some cleaning product down there, one of the method ones as well, and a spare sponge. And there's hooks on the back of the door, but I don't think I actually use... There's hooks on the back of the door too, but I don't actually think I use them for anything. No, I've already been there. Okay, I'll quickly show you the drawers. So again, we've got a little drawer organiser. So we've got stuff in there. And then we've got... A pot and a fry pan and our utensils and oven mitt in there. And then here we have toaster and the coffee machine part and my new little gadget which is a collapsible kettle that Kevin bought for me. <laughs> so I had to have a kettle in there that fitted but Kevin thought that was a good idea. So I kind of got more space in there now than what I used to have. Oh, we've also got the tray for the George. We've bought a little George Foreman grill which is in lift and under that where I said the food was it's very hot in here now so moving to the back you can see Kevin's still got stuff here we've got a quilt down here this forms into the bed that Kevin and I use at night so in the day you've got the seating and then it makes up into bed at night I don't think I've got any photos I'm going to show you and we're not going away anytime soon so if i can find a picture or something i'll try and insert it but if you've watched our travel vlogs you've probably seen it made up anyway heater i don't know where that goes it doesn't go on the couch often when we travel things that you travel really well here and don't slide off so kevin tends to leave things on the cushions so up here we have got like pegs and washing detergent things like that and that basket this is obviously new as you can see we haven't used it yet a little clothes dryer and then that's got some cleaning cloths and that's a tupperware bowl storage lid thing we haven't used it yet so it may end up coming out of here but i don't have a big bowl so i thought i might need one but I haven't yet so in the corner we've still got all our com spare command hooks and stuff again they won't be needed much longer either and can move out We've got our Turkish towels, which we use obviously as beach towels from the motorhome. So we've got a lot of space. And Kevin's hat is in here. And we use this storage to put our bags. So when we're going for the weekend, our bags will go up there. Kevin has a bag, I have a bag, and then we have a bag with um, all the GoPro stuff. So those sort of three bags fit in there. And then over here we have some blankets to keep warm and all our towels are in there. And this isn't obviously the tidiest cupboard, but it's okay. So storage-wise, so storage-wise, Kevin has got another basket here. Um, 
he was doing charging and stuff in there. He might still because of charge, but he's still got GoPro accessories in there. And something that probably doesn't belong there. Oh, the chemical toilet thing. Well, maybe it does belong there. And then Kevin installed a clock up there so he can see the time at night. Over here is a little shelf unit that Kevin uses for night. You can see it's got his little Apple Watch thing. I don't know where mine's going to go. Mine will probably have to go up there too. Because um, I don't have a shelf. Oh, I kind of got the kitchen bench, but I'm not going to put a charging thing there. And then again, it's just going to mess. I just have a little basket. So I can put my Kindle in there if I'm reading at night. In there I have um, some nail stuff. That's right, little nail polish stuff in there. I've got... Um, lip balm and a sudoku book which i haven't used but i thought well i might want it on holidays might not i on my way that's all there and as i said we just love this because we love all these windows it's so bright and you can get pretty good airflow through them i don't know why you're not supposed to open the emergency window but we do <laughs> i don't know why you can't it's easy to open so we do that if we want air from that direction so yeah it works really well and last thing to show you in case you're wondering where our toilet was our toilet's in here <laughs> and shower so it is like the world's tiniest bathroom it's just big enough it's okay like that is your shower floor so it's a wet room so I that needs a bit of consideration with doing that but it, it seems to be okay we tend to shower in the morning it dries off during the day and then we use the toilet overnight which is the only time we use the toilet it's um dry so I will step into our tiny bathroom oh. You can't help but see me in this one because it's so small I can't escape if I'm in here with the camera. And it's very hot, as I said. Up the top we've got toilet roll holder. It's just one of these camping ones you're supposed to hang. Not the greatest, but it's okay. And here, Kevin hasn't taken this stuff out of his bag yet. And I've got, if they fall over. So I've got some things in here. I don't quite know if we can do a better job of arranging everything. Maybe like a little bungee cord or something would work with that well there. And then, as you can see, I'll use up most of the space. <laughs> so, everything's fallen everywhere. Oh, oh no, no, it's big, you get the idea. So, I've got like little um, travel sizes or full sizes, depending of all my basic skincare stuff that I use. Everything that I use every day is here. I haven't got any makeup in here yet, but I probably will put just some basic makeup. I tend not to wear much makeup when we're camping. Um, so yeah, that's all in that little cupboard. Again, we need to probably try and sort out something a bit better there. Oh, hello again. <laughs> so Kevin's put a squeegee thing in here. I don't know if we've used that yet or not, but it's there. And that tab, that's you obviously, I'm going to show you a sink. This is our sink. And then when you're showering, you lift this up. I'm not, sure, I'm not sure I can show you. And then you hook it in there, and then that's your shower. So it's very comfortable. You can look at yourself and admire yourself while you're showering, which is a little bit off putting. It's a bit bizarre. <laughs> it tends to fog up pretty quick, as you can imagine, in here. So I've also got yeah, some body washes in here and some hand wash and Kevin's got his soap. My toothbrush, you a little toothbrush holder thing. I actually want to get a cap for Kevin's. Cause... And I've got my body loofah thing there. And I don't know what this little shelf was ever meant to be for. If anyone knows or had any ideas, I mean it must have been for something surely. But this is like, I don't know. Would you put toilet paper? No, you can't put toilet paper in there because it would get wet. So that's why I was like, way up there and it's out of the road. Alright, I'm out of here. It's hot. So, there you go. World's tiniest bathroom. And then obviously we have a mirror there. So you can admire yourself or check that you look half decent before going out for the day. I cannot believe how warm it is in here. I'm really hot. So, I hope you've enjoyed... I think I pretty much showed you everything and all the organising. If you have got any questions about anything or want to see anything in more detail, just let me know. Or if you want to hear from Kevin about what changes he's done, I can give him the camera and get him, or I can film him talking and showing you the modifications he has made to this motorhome. I need to get out of here. It is very, very warm. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.